Hey, what's going on? JD here, and I have a quick unboxing for you. Today, we are going to unbox the Vento Infinito Carbon 2 Shoes, a brand new offering from Physique. Uh, these guys are their latest offering in their road cycling shoe series. So let's jump in and take a look at these guys. Not sure if the box comes out completely here. It does not, so we'll just pop these shoes out and ditch that box. So there you have it. That is the Physique Vento Infinita Carbon 2. I don't want to say that too fast because it's going to trip up on it, but it is a full carbon shoe. It is designed for road racing. Uh, and it has a nice micro text upper and you can see it's run by boa dials on the side and uh, we've got a full carbon shank so this guy is nice and stiff and according to physique it is 10 on the stiffness scale the, this is the stiffest shoe that they have to offer now one of the changes uh, that has happened uh, since they released the first version of this shoe is that they've actually uh, moved back the cleat position a little bit. Uh, so a lot of people would said they were too far forward on the other shoes. So uh, a lot of people are looking forward to that. Uh, you can see the intake valve. There is a nice intake for air and external port here to get circulation in the shoe. It is a three bolt pattern. Uh, I'm not going to pull this off because these are my shoes and I do have to make sure that they fit. And you can see on the sticker here, it says, please try on your new shoes on a rug first. Sorry, we can't take any uh, damaged or worn product back. So that's exactly what I will be doing uh, with this guy. But a nice stiff sole, you are not going to get any flexibility in there uh, whatsoever. Uh, you may have seen me unbox some other shoes with a great deal of flex, and that's what I'm looking for, a nice stiff shoe. Uh, you've got some rubber on the front and the back, unfortunately not replaceable. Uh, so if those do wear out, I'm not sure how you would go about uh, doing that if the shoes are just done uh, and how durable that is. But uh, if you go to the top, again, we have the Li2 BOA straps. So these are a lot more lower profile than the other BOAs uh, to make these shoes a little bit aer more aerodynamic. You've got the two dials, one for the instep and one for the forefoot. Uh, to control those separately. Uh, you can see the strap goes all the way across and down to the bottom. Uh, it will help support your arch if need be. And you know, with the two dials, it should help with most feet shapes because everybody's foot is different. Uh, you can notice in the Microtext upper, there's a lot of laser holes in there for ventilation. Uh, they also have a knitted version of this. So if you were looking for something that's a lot more breathable, I would go with that. But, you know, my honest belief is that, you know, the knitted shoes don't provide the support for the foot that you really need. And that's why I went with the Microtext option. Uh, if you look at the dials as well, you will notice that on the foot, uh, these are nylon attachment points versus plastic that you see on some shoes. Uh, hopefully that will help prevent any hot spots. And really, you know, a really nice set of shoes. We will grab the scale here and uh, we will see exactly what these guys weigh in at. So zero that guy out and let's see if we can balance that nice. So weighing in at 276.79 grams, I will do it with the other shoe as well, just to kind of get an average reading. So we got 272.85, and we'll throw this on again, 276.8. And you know why? Because I didn't pull stuff out of the shoes. <laughs> so one last time. 269.42. 272.8. I probably have something in this shoe still too. I don't. So there's a little bit of variance in between the shoes 
according to the scale, could be the scale, could be the shoes. Uh, but you are looking at about 272 grams. Again, nice pair of stiff shoes if you're looking for a good racing shoe or you're looking for performance because these carbon fiber soles will allow you to get that power transfer to the pedals. So that's a quick unboxing. I will be back with a review once I have ridden around these for a fair bit. Thanks for tuning in. Always remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notifications. And until next time, see ya. Thank you.